Okay, cherry lovers. Hey, we're at the campfire site. Take a look at that. <laughs> Mrs. Cherry Lovers over there. And like I said, we're having a good time. We're having a wonderful time. Hello, cherry lovers. Well, we've had a beautiful Memorial weekend. We had done some a lot of things. Uh, uh, I went to check on the cherries. Uh, probably not going to get any cherries uh, due to uh, the flowers were there, but the pollinators weren't, and it was just too cold for any pollinators to come out. They don't come out when it's in the low, low to mid 30s. So, but it didn't affect the flowers. The flowers were great. They were just waiting on pollinators. So, yeah, we we didn't we didn't get that this year. Uh, the trees are doing excellent. I can't complain about that. Yes, we're gonna get fruit one of these years, but uh, out here we've uh, got all the outside done. Uh, trees out back, apple trees are looking really good. Uh, garden's really looking good. Uh, all the, everything out here on the farm is really looking excellent. Uh, we did have a frost where it affected a couple, couple uh, flowers, but other than that, it's been really good. Very cool this year for Memorial Weekend up here. You know, when you have nights in the uh, like 31, 32 degrees, right at freezing, not cool, not cool at all, but can't complain, the sun was shining during the day. But yeah, we didn't have a, got some footage of uh, the, out at the campsite and all of the, uh, Mrs. Cherry Lover, she decided she wasn't going camping this year. Uh, it was too cold. She said she might go in a couple weeks, but it was just too cold. And and uh, but yeah, everything was good. Everything was excellent. And uh, Mrs. Cherry Lover there, she's gonna water some of their different plants that we got, and get them ready. We got to go home for a few days, and and uh, and then we'll be back up for the next three, four, or five days, whatever. But yeah, we're gonna we're definitely had a good weekend. And I thought I'd show you guys everything that we did. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, like I was saying, it's not very warm here. Uh, that isn't a happy thing, but uh, hopefully for tomorrow it'll be uh, 70. Normally it's not 70. It's usually in the 80s, but we're not having that yet. So just thought I'd let you guys know that uh, that's just the way it is. But this fire is nice and toasty and it's keeping us warm. So we, it's it's a, maybe like 65 right by the fire. <laughs> but it's pretty cool out here. This is a beautiful, amazing campsite area. Yes, it is. And it's really big, nice area. We got, we picked the perfect, actually it worked out how we got this campsite. It was kind of um, ironic that they canceled our campsite, and then at the last minute, the lady says, oh, we've got a cancellation here. And of course, it was the one that we've been trying to get for a very long time. Anyway, it worked out perfect. God is good all the time. <laughs> Hi, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day today, unlike yesterday evening. <laughs> so, cherry lovers, I hope you're having a great holiday, a great Memorial Day. I was going to go out on the boat. I changed my mind because the weather kind of cooled down. So after we got done working on the farm, I thought about it. But then they said that uh, it's kind of windy. Not kind of. They said it's windy when they go out on the boat until they get to their destination and stop. So they're out there fishing. And I'm sitting here by this beautiful fire that uh, Mr. Cherry Lover just made. <laughs> okay, Cherry Lovers. I just wanted to show you campsite they got this year they're camping four days ain't been very warm we've had uh, nights in the low 30s highs in the 50s not really warm at all but they definitely got a beautiful campsite because when I turn around and give you a look of what they got and what they're looking at I mean it is just plain picturesque look at what they got look what they get to look at at their campsite just look at this people ain't that beautiful that's what they get to look at absolutely beautiful and then I'm gonna take you guys down and walk you over here and show you how they 
they got their pontoon put in, but they're out fishing right now. But I wanted to show you that they can go down to the water from up at their campsite. And they can just walk down the steps, right down them steps, probably about, I don't know, 25, 30 steps down, all the way down to the water. They park their pontoon there, and they've got all, this is the uh, Sabo River in, uh, well, it's between Oscoda and Tawas, but it, it starts up around Grayling and works its way all the way down and around. But this is all the backwaters. I mean, it is beautiful. So that's where they're staying. Like I said, they're up here on the top of the hill and just, just a beautiful. As you can see, I got to throw those in. Those are the houses away from home. And there's their tents and everything. And like I said, they've got a beautiful place. It is, it's very, very, very beautiful. So I don't know where they're fishing at. Uh, I had to deliver some wood for them so they could keep warm tonight. This old man ain't ain't camping. <laughs> Told him, nope, I got a, my big uh, tent in the woods over there has shingles on it and that's where I like to be. I come over here in the evening and visit with them, but this old man is not <laughs> staying here. Too cold at night. So just thought I'd show you cherry lovers that uh, that's what's going on. Okay, Mrs. Cherry Lover. Got anything to say to our cherry lovers out there? Out here in the great white north? Hello, cherry lovers. <laughs> this is a beautiful, just as he said, beautiful campsite. It's absolutely gorgeous. We haven't stayed out here yet because it's been too cold, but I'm seriously thinking about it maybe tomorrow night or maybe the night after that. I'm not sure, but we'll see. She's staying there, I'm not. <laughs> All right, cherry lover. I just thought I'd show you how, what a wonderful campsite this is. We are delivering wood and keeping all of our children happy. And okay, cherry lovers, now that pretty much does it for this Memorial weekend. Uh, we've had a had a good time. If you guys like my videos, please, please, please like and subscribe. Come check us back out. And uh, we got, like I told you before, we got all kinds of things we do all summer long, and <laughs> we do our gardening, our fruit farm, and then uh, we do fishing and camping and all that kind of stuff. Kind of show folks what goes on up here in northern Michigan. Uh, we work, but we also play. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Keep coming back, and see you next time.